Of course, we will continue to do a lot to, uh, from manufacturers uh, regards technology, other measures, but now it's time also to even better work together in the value chain between different stakeholders. And if we do that, we, we see that we can more than double the, the effect. Uh, it's, it is a truck with a variety of different technologies. It is a trailer, it's tires, uh, we have the man-machine interface between driver and truck, we have the operators, we have the infrastructure. Uh, so we have a lot of different things that eventually can influence how much CO2 we have per ton kilometer transported. And that is what makes sense because we know that we must transport things in, in Europe and everywhere. And the name of the game is to do the, this in a sustainable way. When it comes to CO2, that is even more important because CO2 reductions means fuel reductions and fuel reductions means better also uh, operating margin for our customers and the transporters, which is very important to them. We have a very pressed situation. Uh, 2008, uh, the industry stated that we will actually uh, take down with approximately 1.3% uh, per year CO2 uh, between 2005 and 2020. What we now are saying, and that we will do with, I mean, the measures we have as truck uh, OEMs or truck manufacturers, but what we are now saying is that with the integrated approach, we have been working with the uh, Transport and Mobility Leuven Institute just to have an outside view. Uh, we have been working with more than 16 different stakeholders in a consortium that could integrate and have different angles, we see that we, more, uh, we have an opportunity to more than double and we think that's fantastic news.